What's up YouTube? We got another raw training day uh, we're filming today. Deadlift day, of course, uh, followed by, well, primary deadlift day, followed by secondary squats. Uh, I'm gonna be doing 10 singles at 683 on sumo deadlifts, uh, just trying to dial in uh, some, not necessarily new technique, but uh, old technique that I used to use years back before I kind of changed things up post-surgery. Uh, so we're dialing things in today on that. Uh, more terrible goblet squatting, tra goblet setting transformer bar squats, uh, which I absolutely love. Uh, I've been a little all over the place with my training the last couple of months with the gym move and everything like that. Not really sure what, uh, what direction that I want to go in. Uh, but as of now, going forward, uh, I'm going to be having Taylor Gohn and Ben Pollock handle my training. Uh, really good friends with both of them. I've uh, trained with them quite a bit in the last year and a half as they were here in Washington uh, for a little over a year. And we got to train with them at the old generation strength. Uh, so Taylor is going to be handling my training and Ben is going to be handling my nutrition and my supplementation just like he did for the American Pro meat prep. So we're going to try to get some consistency going again and uh, get back on track here. See it on, I don't know if you can see this on, on the video with your camera, but... Pull slack here, and I, I do drop the hips, not as much as I have been, but you can still see me tip forward a little bit off the hole. So I'm just trying to bring my hips forward instead of just dropping them like that and dipping them, dipping back into my quads. I kind of, I used to pull very like hip dominant with my sumo. And then the past couple of years, I've kind of I've kind of moved more towards like a quad dominant push in my setup, or my knees are just not that I don't want my knees over the bar, uh, but a very quad dominant pull. So I'm trying to find the middle ground between the two and focus on just bringing my hips forward in the setup and get upright. So it's been really annoying. <laughs> So that was 11 singles, I think, today. I did an extra one at the end, uh, just because I wasn't too happy uh, with how things were going today. Uh, setting up and this, this focus of trying to keep my hips higher and setting up a little bit differently than how I've been doing things in recent years is uh, a little challenging, uh, but we we're starting to get there towards the end, uh, which is why I did the extra single. So somewhat of a frustrating day at the beginning, uh, trying to just revert back to old habits, but like I said, it was starting to make a little bit more sense there for me at the end. Uh, doing like this like setup or style, however you want to refer to it, felt great uh, last week with just like 595 on the bar, but this is almost 100 pounds heavier than that. So something to keep in mind, I suppose, when practicing like new technique, like it takes time for uh, technique to feel good with heavier and heavier weights. It doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, things are going wrong or something should be changed. It just means that you need time to adapt to, you know, lifting a certain way with more weight on the bar. So uh, my hands are definitely happy to be done. Uh, uh, it hurts to even touch the bar and one of my hands actually started ripping open on the pole. So we're done with 11 singles for the day. Uh, Time to go do transformer bar.
so that's my deadlift day. Most of it anyway. I'm gonna come back later and do some of my smaller accessories, but those are my big movements that are gonna be on my deadlift day for a little bit. Uh, goblet squat, transformer bar, Ukrainian deadlifts on the belt squat. Uh, deadlifts, I think we're gonna be doing kind of like an undulating fashion. So one week I'll pull sumo, one week I'll pull conventional, probably go a little bit heavier, I'm not sure yet. Uh, today was supposed to kind of be like a bridging, kind of light week. Uh, the deadlifts were kind of, kind of challenging though. So yeah, that's my deadlift day. Thanks for watching.